let's just get it out of the way right now for you know all aspects of everything mentioned here about the drama okay <laughs> What's up guys? Looky what we got here. I got the last dab experience. This is made by Heatnist and it's for the show Hot Ones where all the celebrities go on there and they eat the chicken wings covered in hot sauce and they answer a variety of questions. Well they got to answer the bell to this guy at the end. There's a little bit of a write up on the back describing that. It also says 11 out of 10 for the heat. 11 out of 10! <laughs> Come on! Uh, it also is made with Pep Rex. And if you've been living under a rock somewhere and you don't know what Pep Rex is, then God help you, because I can't. There's more drama surrounding Pep Rex and this hot sauce in the chili community than any soap opera that ever aired on TV. And that's including Days of Our Lives. <laughs> but you know what they say, I guess drama sells because I ran out and bought a bottle. I've heard everything from it's not hot, to it's blistering hot, to crazy reactions, to... No reaction, <laughs> the color of the sauce. You know, I heard, you know, different different things. People sent it out to be tested. I think it's it came back at 61,000 Scoville heat units. So being that it's made up of Pepper X, Pepper X is the hottest pepper on the planet. Right now it came in at 2,693,000 Scoville heat units. So this, this should be one of the naturalist hot sauces out there that's blistering hot. It should be one of the hottest natural sauces around. It's made up of Pepperex in three different forms, okay? It has the Pepperex powder, the Pepperex pepper, and Pepperex distillate, which is basically how they extract the Pepperex. Let's open it up, guys. We're going to check for a few different things, okay? Right away, I love the label on the sauce. I love, I just love the color of the sauce, too. I don't know if you guys can get a good idea of the consistency of it. Let's just open it up here. Just open her up, bye. And we'll check her out here. Give her a shake. I do got my spoon here. So I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of hard to see the consistency of it right now. Let's open it up. I'm excited, bye. I'm excited. So yeah, it's made up of three different types of pepper X and then just vinegar. There's no garlic. There's no onion, no salt even, I don't think. <laughs> Ooh, baby. I'm getting straight pepper. You definitely, it smells pepper forward. Yeah, I, you know, it's weird for, usually I smell that pepper forwardness. It, it's, the sauce is going to be hot. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bud. So she's thick. She's a thicker sauce. I thought it was, oh, God. Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Man, my poor, poor carpet's taking a beating lately. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, God. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Great flavor. I love the flavor on it. Definitely pepper forward, but I love pepper forward sauces. Wow, it's got some good heat. You know, all the back of my throat is being lit up. <coughs> Impressive heat. I don't know how people could say this wasn't hot. My heat's probably a four or five. Definitely four or five, right at the back of the throat. Seems like back of the throat, back of the tongue. My whole back of my mouth is lit right up, guys. Let's do a little bit more here. Yeah, the color of the sauce. I'm not sure how they get the color. Like, the Pepper X is a... It almost looks like a mustard pod. People say it's not a mustard pod, but it's like a yellowish, brownish. So, I'm not sure, you know, the sauce does look a little reddish. But I can see it, I can see it kind of trying to maybe get that color from it. There we go, guys. A little bit more on there. Kind of see the consistency of it. It's definitely on the thick side. She's a thick side girl. All right. Wow, what a great hot sauce. I think it's great flavor. 
Great heat. I mean, I, I can't, okay, so let's just, let's just get it out of the way right now for, you know, all aspects of everything mentioned here about the drama, okay? I can see, for me, it's about a four or five on the heat scale. Pepper X is a, is the highest rated pepper in the pepper community. It's two, two, uh, two million six hundred ninety three thousand Scoville. So, you know, if this is 91% pepper X, I can see what the other side is saying, it, it, for me, it's a real hot, medium hot sauce. It should be hotter, though. It should be, like, at the top end, right? So I can see that, but I've heard different reviews where people said it wasn't hot at all. And I, I, I'm getting some serious heat, like serious medium heat with this hot sauce. Like, definitely a five, for sure, for me. Uh, and the flavor. The flavor is there, too. Like, So, wow. You know, I think it's a great hot sauce. Yeah, seems like I do get like, I don't know if I'm getting a little touch of sweetness and it's like mostly pepper forward. You're definitely getting the pepper forward up front. You get the heat on the back end, but I love the color of the sauce. I'm not sure why it, the color of the sauce is the way it is. You know, it's got to be obviously in some part of the process of making it. Uh, for me, I do believe Pepper X is the real deal. I think it's their baby though, right? And they're probably protective of Pepper X. But man, this is a great hot sauce with great flavor and great heat. Like I think it's affecting my nose a little bit. Like my heat seems like it's climbing too, guys. Like I'm probably five, good five right now for heat. And it's all at the roof of my mouth. Roof of my mouth, all at the back of the throat. You know, so I can see that. You know, I know. I know for the uh, for a chili head, that's not that's gonna move your needle needle halfway maybe right and, and I know Ed has said he has marketed this hot sauce for ninety nine point nine percent of the rest of the population that isn't a chili head. I misquoted Ed. I just wanted to point that out and give you guys the correct factual information. So when Ed was talking about the ninety nine percent, he's talking about the people that enjoy spice around the world, not the general population. Also, I am on neither side of this debate. I am just a chili head who's trying to objectively review a hot sauce. People keep on asking me why stuff's not as hot as they're expecting with some of the pepper X sauces. Guys, 99.9999-6425% of the world that eats spicy stuff does not like it brutal. And if you are not a chili head and you tried that, it would light you up. Any celebrity on hot ones that is not used to spice, that is going to rip you a new one. Like, my sinuses are affected. Like, that is way hotter than that oil, Pepper X oil I got. Which is bizarre. I was, I was kind of expecting another reaction where I was going to talk about it not being hot. But that is hot. <laughs> for me, that is hot. That's a good five uh, for a hot sauce and good medium, good hot, hot, medium hot sauce. And with great flavor, love the color. I love the consistency too. And you know what? I would almost use that on everything, guys. From chicken wings, obviously. I'd put it on pork, steak, salad, maybe some eggs in the morning. You know, all that good stuff. I could use it on a lot. Let's do one more little pour, guys. We are going to say, I am going to save it. I, I'm not going to chug it or do nothing crazy. We're going to save it. Maybe do our own show of hot ones here. But yeah, great con consistency on it. Great color. And I, I swear, I think I got like a little drop of sweat coming down here, man. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, like, I did pay $29.95 for it from Chile Chile's, which is out of Canada. So it's a little more on the price of your end. But a great sauce to try, you know, if you want to see what all the hype is about or all the drama is about. So, you know, it hooked me in. So, I mean, I was excited to try it. I wanted to try it after I heard so much about it. I kept hearing stuff about it and I had to buy it. I had to try it. So maybe I can convince Olivia to do just a dab on a bit of a chicken wing. We'll see. But uh, that's going to do it for my review, guys. So... I'd say the flavor for me, flavor for me is 
a solid seven. The heat is a solid five. Consistency, I'd say it's a seven as well. It's thick. She's on the thicker side. The thicker side of life. And wow, like my heat is still there. Still there. Still burning good. 